Mm. So the, the, do those remarks answer your question? Yes, and you've strayed on to the second mm. question, so, mm. but I'll read it anyway. Mm. When I read Shabda, I mm. often feel that I am reading expressions of strongly held opinions, mm. which often <laughs> lead to disputes. Mm. I often feel jangled and agitated on reading these opinions, mm. feeling my own strongly held opinions rise up in me, as it were, mm. wanting mm. to be expressed. Mm. Do you think that we need to emphasize more the Buddha's teaching from the fourth chapter of the Sutta Nipata? Do you think that we need to be more mindful of the status of our strongly held opinions? i.e. that they are merely our strongly held opinions and that they should be renounced. Well, it may, may differ. So there may be in, in Shabda strongly held opinions because we say they have not very much to do with the Dharma. Yeah. But on the other hand, they may be strongly held views which are right views. Uh, the problem being that they are held strongly hmm? rather than that, that uh, as, as right views they are held at all. Hmm? So... Uh, I think we first of all have to look at our opinions as such um, and to see whether they are just opinions or whether they are an attempt to give some expression to a right view and even if they do represent an, an attempt to give expression to a right view whether we are giving expression to that uh, right view in, in a way which is faithful to that right view, which is not based on attachment and doesn't give rise to any feelings of insecurity or superiority and so on. Hmm? Hmm. But yes, Shabda is a wonderful thing, isn't it? Huh? Um, I can't read it nowadays, but it's read to me quite a lot of it, and I often find it very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, hmm, hmm.